He's been in here digging like a Chinaman. Are you a Chinaman? Well, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to Digger Detecting, guys. Welcome also back out into the bush. And I tell you what, what a spectacular day it is to be out here. Uh, we've got a top of 17 degrees today, a nice light breeze to keep us nice and cool. Uh, but not only that, we are out here testing out the brand new Coil Tech Gold Hawk 9 inch mono coil. And we're running it on the GPX 6000 by Mine Lab. And I tell you what, it really does not get much better than this. You, it's, it's just a, such a fantastic combination. And I'm going to show you that today. So there is our first bit of gold with the brand new 9 inch mono. And I won't lie i uh, actually was out testing this coil yesterday on the gpx 6000 and that gold hawk nine inch mono well oh, amazing i got 19 bits of gold yesterday i actually broke my record ever using that very coil uh, this combination the coil uh, on the on the 6000 the gold hawk nine inch so look out we're off on fire again today our first nugget on the board i wonder if we can break our record again today who knows over 19 bits we'll see how we go all right, well in that last video clip, I just said we'll see how we go after our first bit of gold coming out, and there it was just there. That's the hole we've just filled in. Bingo, we got another target right beside. It was the most lighter signal, and I tell you what, just giving that boot scrape, uh, the first little scrape off the ground, getting rid of that leaf litter, it uh, increases straight away. And that coil tech, a nine inch coil, well you hear it straight away, but as soon as you give it that boot scrape, uh, it just increases in sound so much more. What am I trying to do? That, take you off Bluetooth. Let's have a listen. Now, I was a little bit quick to pull this one out, and <laughs> I sort of half knew it was gonna be gold, because look where we are, right beside the last bit. So look, we've got him out already. I didn't show you the signal at the start, and I, I'm sorry for that. I'll show you next time. He's in that clod of dirt, though. I dare say it's going to be gold. So let's give you a look at what we've got. And we're not down the river today. This, this site has just been amazing to us all over the place. Uh, you've really got to work for it. But we're not down the river today. Uh, that river has been great. But I'm just worried about snakes today. It's a bit of a... Well, it's a bit of a hot day. So we don't, don't want to see a snake today. If we can help it. So let's sit you uh, on the pick. Stumpy picks. Looks magnificent, digs great. And uh, let's show you this second bit of gold coming out. Fingers crossed. Rightio, here we go. Sounds good. He's got that sort of nice soft tone about him. I know he's screaming out a little bit there. It's only because we're getting down to the last bit. Definitely gonna be gold. I can guarantee you. <gasps> there he is there. I just threw him out. Oh, it's tiny too, but look. That's exactly what I'm finding with the Coil Tech coil. You know, I'm, I'm reworking old ground right now currently. And here we are finding more and more gold. And as I said, it was a tiny signal at the start. But it's all gold. And as I said, I've picked up 10 grams in the last month and a half using the GPEX 6000 at this very site. And it hasn't been without its work, I tell you. But all those little pieces, they certainly add up. And 10 grams in the last month and a half... Well, gold is $120 a gram. You do the mass. So there we go. Gold Hawk 9 inch mono coil uh, from Coil Tech on the GPX 6000 by Mine Lab. It really is a killer combination. Let's put him in the jar. Let's get you on to the next. Oh, that's amazing. That is truly amazing. This, uh, this Gold Hawk coil 9 inch mono by Coil Tech, I tell you what, I am super sold. There's our next bit of gold. That's number three, and I didn't film it, I'm sorry. Let's just get rid of all that dirt. I didn't film it because I didn't think it was actually gonna be. But there we go. Oh my God. And this is sort of what I was seeing yesterday too. Very, very, let's, uh, let's sort you out there. Get you on the knee might be better. This is very similar to, uh, similar to what I was seeing yesterday. The gold is so tiny that the uh, the 6000 with the gold hawk coil tech nine inch mono is able to pick up now like we actually went back over a spot yesterday that we'd work with the 11 inch standard coil on the 6000 well we went back over it yesterday with that very uh, gold hawk coil right there you see in front of us and bingo we we're picking up a tiny little bits of gold just like this one and even smaller one so small i had to lick my finger 
uh, just to try and pick them up. You couldn't even uh, grab hold of them, two fingers. So that is just uh, super incredible because you think uh, of all the detectors that have walked over these grounds over the last, what, 20, 30 years, uh, thousands of people, thousands of people. I mean, this is uh, open uh, bushland. Anybody can come here and detect. It's not private property. So look, the only bits of gold at a lot of these places that you go to nowadays that you're going to be able to find unless you get lucky uh look it's probably these small bits right here but if you can find small bits like that pick them up i mean that's number three right there and we've been averaging around about a gram a day well if you can find all those small bits pick them up with this such killer combination nine inch mono gold hawk 6000 gpx 6000 there i tell you what you're having a win every day so there we go three little nuggies into the jar let's see what else we can find Right, we've finally got a good one that we can all hear and we can all listen to. And as you can see, it's fresh ground. I have not done anything with it just yet. I've just found this signal and we're just going to do a quick ground balance. Detector's being a little bit noisy today. Now, we don't know if that's gold or not. But hear how it's nice and soft. It's not screaming at me. Not like my boot would. See that? <laughs> so he's a nice soft target. And he's got that nice sort of soft drawn out uh, tone. That's what you're listening for when you're looking for the gold. I know a lot of people know this already. We're just trying to help others that don't. Give him a boot scrape and bingo, he starts to increase. And he's sort of in the sm uh, smack bang in the center there. Sort of about there I'd put him. And the most critical thing that you don't want to do is dig too much. You know, if I go sticking that pick straight in, levering a massive hook out of dirt, well, you, chances are you've got your target straight out in one, but he's in this big clod. And then the, uh, then the detector may struggle even hearing it. So what you do, you build yourself a little pad. You always scratch back a little bit and clean off an area because that's where your dirt's about to sit in a second. We have another listen. Now he's sort of going a bit funny there, so I'm just going to give a quick pump of the coil and doing the ground balance, holding the ground balance button on the back of the machine. And you see he's sort of sharpened up a little bit. That's a good trick to remember. If you're sort of worried uh, that you can't hear your target as well anymore, or you're worried that you've thrown him out, is he in the hole still? Have you already pulled him out? Is he, is he in the pile of dirt here? And he's disappeared a bit. Well, just quickly run a ground balance. Chances are you'll be able to hear that signal a little bit better. I don't know why, it just seems to hone in on it that bit better. So that's the dirt that we've taken off the top. We'll scrape him back. We've got our first pile and our second pile. Let's have another listen. He's still going to be in there. It even seems like we've got two targets. It sort of seems like we've got one there and one over here. So look, bring that dirt back again. We're going to continue going down to him. I'm pretty certain this is going to be gold. So continue going down to him. And we're going to come back and we're going to show you exactly what we get out of this hole. Rightio, well we finally managed to get him in the scoop. Wasn't that a bit of effort? We went all over the countryside for him. But we've got him and I think that's because, as I said before, I think there's multiple targets in this one, one little area. So we've got multiple, multiple bits of gold to play with here. He's still nice and quiet. I'll just stay away from him a bit because I've got my watch on today. And I'm going to go and grab some lunch in a minute. And get rid of my jumper because I'm extremely hot. He's so tiny. But look, I'll happily pick these pieces up. Oh, he's in the clod. I'll pick these pieces up any day of the week. I just love them. Oh, bingo. Bingo. And as I said, they may be small, but they certainly all add up. Let's just clean him off a little bit. And I'm not going to put him in my mouth. 
because I'll probably end up swallowing him. So let's move the detector out of the way. I'll give you a bit of a look. I don't know how you can see it. But there's number four. And we're only just coming on lunchtime, as I said. So we're going to go remove the jumper and show you exactly how much more gold we can get for this afternoon. But that just proves it for this morning. And just how good that 9-inch Gold Hawk a Coil Tech coil is are running on the GPX 6000. Absolutely incredible. Now let's go grab some lunch. All right, guys, we have just finished lunch. And uh, as you can see, I'm across the river. I'm actually on the bank in the middle of the river. And well, this is an old miner's hole you can see here in front of us. He's been pulling out all this uh, sandstone and uh, quartz. So that'd be, uh, that'd be sandstone right there. And that's obviously quartz. But he's been pulling it all out. He's been washing it right beside the creek here. And you can see he's a mound, his stack. And through that mound, through the stack, we've been pulling out a nice wobbly rocks. You can see there are a few holes off to the left. And these are what we've been pulling out. And when you put them over the machine, they sing out quite nice. Now, just doing that and just explaining that to you there, and that's the reason why I'm working this uh, little stack so so hard. Like I'm standing on 150 years uh, of tailings, you know, being thrown out 150 years ago. You can see I've been down off the side there, and look, there was blackberries and bracken fern, everything here, and we're on a real a tedious ledge. It's not, the, the camera just doesn't do it justice, but there's a secondary creek right there. Let me give you a listen to what's happened. So you can see, as I said, what we're doing. Oh, we had a target right in this bank wall, and I shifted some blackberries, got rid of that, and oh, ever so gently, uh, I sort of stomped down, like we're perched up on the side of a hill at the moment. I stomped down a bit of a pad there. The reason being is because whatever was going to fall out of that bank, I didn't want it rolling down off into the blackberries. You'd never find it again. Now, let's take you off Bluetooth just for a second. And we just were very so careful as we were shifting uh, that, uh, that area and clearing that area. As I said, we built our pad. Look what happened. Listen to it. Listen to that detector. Let's get off the side of the hill because it's probably going to make it easier. Let's get up here. Now, the last time I heard this sound, uh, where it was actually wobbling the detector out, you know, it breaks its tone and then sort of makes a bit of a wobble, we had a half gram nugget on the side of the bank. The other time I heard that happen, well, we had a big uh, lead slug bullet. Now, this is doing the same thing. It's quite a big rock. Let's just give you a listening comparison. Some of the other ones we've pulled out, just to give you an idea. So we've got one here. So you can see he's not bad, but he's nothing like what you're about to hear with this one. Ready? That is absolutely blanking the detector out. Not only that, hear that tone? Ooh, it sounds like a ghost. That there, oh, he's gonna have a half gram nugget in him, I dare say. 0 0.4, 0 0.5, that rock is about $60 worth. So we're definitely gonna pick him up, take him with us. And that is a key lesson right there. As I said, I explained what I did uh, working this area. Got a couple of little low uh, uh, wobbly rocks, and we got a couple yesterday too. So that's why I'm back over this area. But look, clearing the uh, blackberries, clearing the bracken fern, pushing it out of your way, bingo. You can get to ground that has possibly never been touched, never been worked. And if a miner was here 150 years ago pulling all these rocks out, well, he damn sure was pulling them out for a reason, to get the gold. However, unfortunately... He couldn't see, well, he couldn't see what was inside the rocks. So unless he crushed them up, got all the gold out, well, he never knew if he threw some gold out with some of the rocks. And that's what we're hitting on today. See if we can find some more. All right, well, here is another classic wobbly rock reaction, or wobbly rock sound, however you like to call it. Scrape the top there. I don't know how this one's been missed, because that is an old detectorist hole right there. That's not mine. That sounds amazing. It just sounds like it's deep. 
and it's going to be big. So let's go after him a little bit. We'll come back and we'll give you another listen. All right, we're back. Whoop, and we're tripping over. We haven't taken that much off, as you can see, but let's have a listen. This is crazy. Ready? Now, how, how has that been missed? I don't know. But then again, if you're not concentrating, if you're going that little bit quick, or if you just happen to swing a little bit high, well, you easily miss these things. You really can. So, let's have a look. He's still going to be in there, I dare say. And he's going to come out uh, as what you've seen there earlier. A big chunk of sandstone. He's going to have an even bigger bit of gold in it. This is a big signal. We're still not right down on him. This is a massive signal. This could be our grammar. There we go. It's opening right up. And look, it could be lead, it could be rubbish. We've dug plenty of that today too. But something like this, you know, the old timers, they knew what they were doing. They really did. Not all of them, but majority of them. So if they were here, I mean, a mine has been here, as you can see, all the work he's done. He did it for a reason. Let's try and pinpoint this one a bit better. All right, so he's off, sort of, I thought he was at the back there, but he's sort of not. He's off in this little clump here. So we're gonna take this side wall out. We're gonna clear a pad, and we're gonna come back, show you a look what we've got. How exciting. Well, you can hear me puffing, huffing and puffing that is. Oh, that was incredibly deep. And we just lost him. Oh dear. Well, all it was is a bit of lead anyway. So nothing special, there he is. Now that's how deep he was though. Well, let's give you a proper look. Oh, it's a stumpy pick. Thanks, Dan. 15 inches over. 16, 17 inches deep. And uh, well, there's our target. That's what was screaming out. It's a big hunky chunky lead. A bit of lead. So, look, some miners, or most miners, knew what they were doing. Some didn't. Some were in a bit of a rush to get to the next gold field. Some left a lot of gold behind. You've got to remember that. Not everybody knew what they were doing. Uh, not everybody that entered the gold fields, you know, they weren't a qualified miner by no stretch of the imagination. They were just trying to make their riches just like everybody else. So a lot of gold fields that you visit, you can get lucky in the throwouts, and, you know, you can pick up a lot of gold because some people just didn't know what they were doing, how they threw it out, or they were in a rush, and they left a lot, and they got onto the next gold rush, the next gold field. So there it is, a bit of lead. Mr. Miner Man here, well, he knew what he was doing, and he uh, purposely buried that there, I'm certain, uh, for me to dig it up today. So, oh dear. The main thing about that, though, wasn't a bit of gold, but the main thing here is always fill your holes in. If it's not gold, well, move on to the next, but make sure you fill your hole in. Let's keep going. All right, we've caught up with Pa. We're just seeing what he's done. He's been in here digging like a Chinaman. Are you a Chinaman? Well, I think I am. <laughs> <laughs> well, they didn't. So. They didn't leave much gold. They were good at what they did. I tell you, uh, yeah, they were very good. So, oh, yeah, well, you put your hand out. Well, Andrew's on the board. He's going to show me. He's been holding back from me. Oh, oh what? <laughs> what, mate? That little one. It come from down there where I got my other three the other day. You're joking. Yeah, it come from there again. Look at the stonker. And that big one, right at that mound. Holy that moly. Mound of fresh dirt. And it wasn't that deep by the looks of it. No, oh no, that was about that far down. Oh really? Yeah. yeah. Oh, you filled your hole in. No, yeah, yeah. Nice work, always Andrew. Fill me holes. Always fill your holes. Yeah, always, mate. Like Coffee Bush Kid says, it's good to get out and enjoy a day detecting, but make sure you always fill in your oh, holes. Oh. And I 100% agree, agree with that. Yeah. Well done, Coffee Bush Kid. Even though the miners didn't. No, the miners, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> that oh, doesn't matter. Mate, stoked. And that looks like a big bloody boot. Yeah, yeah. Or something. That's yeah. a. Not bad, eh? Oh, mate, I think you've bet me today. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Well, I've got five, six little bits, but they're nothing like that stonker. Yeah, but you wait till you smash that rock. Yeah, well, true. I've got, I was yeah. just showing Andrew that rock we found on the hill. Yeah. What a cracker. Andrew, well done, mate. Well yeah. bloody done. Yeah, not bad for an and, old bugger. And you're saying you need a new coil. Yeah, I need a new coil. Nothing wrong with what you're doing. God. Yeah, he would have been a screamer. No, nah, because it was down so far. It was down about that far. 
Wow. It was very, very faint. Oh, oh, that's a target, or is it not? Wow. Wipe the moss off. And, oh, that might be a target. Scrape a bit of dirt off the top. And, that's definitely a target. Good on you. Good on you. So well done. In the clay. Well done. It's in the clay. Just oh. in the clay. Look, it's a great day when you get gold, but it's an even better day when we both get both gold get and we go home. You know, we both got gold. So yeah, look. We're both happy then. Yeah, unbelievable. Unbelievable. All right, we're going to. Oh, I keep slipping on that bank. We're going to uh, pack up from here. We've got about another hour left in us. We're going to continue on a little bit more. Andrew's on the board. I'm on the board. And we've got some uh, wobbly rocks to crush when we get home. How cool. Woohoo. Oh, holy moly, check this bad boy out, eh? And we've just walked away from Andrew. Let's take the Bluetooth off once again, because I want you to hear this rock. Rock on. He's going to have, well, he's going to have the biggest chunk of gold we've got today. Listen to this. Crazy. Crazy, crazy. That is so cool. I love finding these sandstone rocks because whenever you find one, well, it's guaranteed gold. There can't be rust or there can't be lead inside that. It's going to be gold. He's not behaving as good now. That is crazy though. And he come from off the side here. Whoop, don't fall down, fella. And you can see the creek down there. So, look, just uh, working along this bank. And I was uh, walking along here yesterday. So how I missed that one, I don't know. But look, there's another rock into the pocket. I'm collecting rocks. We've already got two big boulders in there. That be the third. So just amazing. That is why you recheck over old ground. And uh, you betcha, I'm getting down in the creek now because if those rocks roll off from the hill, where do you think they land? Down there. Oh, I just want to show you something before we get down in the creek. I just said I'm working along the edge of this bank. And I'm still doing that. And we're about to get down in that creek in a second. I just wanted to show you this overhang here. Now, something very careful or very uh, important to be aware of is when you're walking in the bush, you just never know. Like, right here's okay. Uh, there's a little bit sketchy. Uh, we'll jump down here, though, and I'm going to give you a proper look. Uh, this also uh, refers to the mine shafts, too. When you're walking around the top of the mine holes, uh, the miners' old workings, be very careful because a lot of the time uh, you've got a false top or an overhanging ledge. You can see there, oh, I'm falling. You can see there, let me get my footing in the right spot. It's so steep right here. Bark and everything everywhere. So you can see there just how much overhang we've got. Now, I'm not, uh, I'm not all that heavy. I'm about 80 kilos. But if I stood up there for long enough, what's to say that's not going to support my weight and drop down? What's to say I don't end up down here with my detector in hand or detector underneath me? So... Just be very careful about that overhang on the side of cliffs or even overhang on the side of the old miners' holes. You just never know. And as I said, you've got to be super aware of these things and super careful because you certainly don't want to land on your detector and spoil your day. Anyway, we're down here now. Let's get digging. Let's see what we can find. Come here, Sniffy. All right, still on the creek. We found a good one. Another blanking out rock, maybe? I don't know. Let's have a bit of a look. We're going to pull. Ow! What is that? Something just prickled the heck out of me. Hang on, I'll come back. Right, we're back. We've got a prickle in our leg. It's in our pants. It's prickling our leg. And it really hurts. I've just shifted it in a different spot, though. So it's okay for now. Let's just pull that down there. I thought as much. Let's go again. Doesn't matter because it's a loud signal. We're going to find him easy enough. I thought as much again. All right. He's off to the right hand side of it there. There's a blackberry right there. I don't mean a phone. Not the old phones, blackberries. Who had one of those? I didn't. I had a Nokia. Let's get rid of that Blackberry. Oh, they can be very painful. All right, let's pull this down. This has got to be gold. Oh, maybe that was it. Okay, still there. We need to get serious 
whatever we've got though, you can hear just what it's doing. And uh, well, I can't see that being a bit of lead somehow. That's probably most likely gold. Let's uh, get him out and have a look. Rightio, we've got him out. He's not gold. Is that a lead sinker? Is that an old musket ball? I think that's a musket ball, which is cool in itself. I think it is, it's a lead shot. And I mean, I don't mean a lead shot sinker. It's a lead shot gunshot ball, bullet thing. That's awesome, musket ball maybe. Very hard to tell. And we did dig a fair way into the side of the bank for that one. He's definitely gold. I really doubt that's a sinker. So look, pretty cool piece. Not a bit of gold. And now I'm questioning, how am I gonna fill this hole in? I don't know. Alrighty guys, well that wraps it up for us today. Unfortunately, it's only early too, but uh, look, we've been three days on the gold. Uh, yesterday we did 19 bits, a little bit over a gram. A day before that we did 1.45 gram. We did about 13 bits. Well, we've got nearly about 10 bits today and I can't account for that 100% just yet. Uh, but we've got about four or five bits in the container. And not only that, you've seen our hot rocks, our wobbly rocks, which we've got in the front of the pouch here. And uh, we've got one. We've got two, we've got three, and four. And thankfully, we've got our keys still. So four wobbly rocks, five bits of gold. And we're gonna get home and break all those wobbly rocks open. I'll show you a look what comes out. We'll see you there. Right, oh, well, as you can see, we've made it home. And as you can also see, we're just setting ourselves up here. Everybody keeps walking in the sunshine and making the shadows go across the screen. So I'm telling Andrew and Helena to stay over this side now. And we're gonna look at all our bits of lead and then we're gonna crush up these stones, check out our gold, because we've got gold in every single one of them. And in actual fact, yesterday, we uh, broke up a stone there off to the left that you can see, uh, all, the, all the dirt smashed up. And we actually had uh, three bits of gold in the one stone. So look out, you just never know what's gonna come, come out of these stones here. And they may take a little while to do. So let's start with this guy here. I can't remember which one's which, but we're gonna get all the gold out. Oh, that's a big quartz stone now. It might take a little while, but we're gonna get all the gold out, line them up on the side, and we'll come back as we get it out, and we'll show you a look. Rightio, there it is. We've just found him. He's on the concrete. They stand out quite nicely too. So one little nuggy, our first little nuggy saved from the, uh, the sandstone, the rock. All the, all the gold seems to be in the sandstone, all the quartz at this site. So one little nuggy right there. And what we'll do too is we'll crush the rest of this up because you never know. As I said, there was multiple nuggets, uh, little gold specks in that last rock that we did yesterday. We didn't show it on film, unfortunately, but there we go. So I can actually, no, I thought I'd seen another bit of gold. So there we go. We're going to put that off to the side. We're going to get into the next one now. And once again, all of this will be panned uh, just to make sure... Bit of gold hiding under there, Andrew. Big lump. Just a big lump. Big no, no, no. Uh, look, it'll all be panned just to make sure there's nothing else. Because in actual fact, there was a bit in there yesterday. We could not find him. I got the pan out, panned it away, and bingo, we found him straight away. Oh no, this might be a wobbly rock with nothing in it. Let's let's test him out and have a look. We'll come back and show you. Oh, you never know. That's sandstone, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, no, it's right here. We're getting gold out of this, buddy. All right, there is our next piece. It did not take us that long to find him either. He's quite the chunker, quite the nice guy. Nothing like, nothing like Andrew's. I'm just gonna say, it's little man. He's, he's <laughs> tiny compared to Andrew's, but look, there's number two. I'll put it and, uh, in your bowl and weigh a bit more. <laughs> weigh that little bit more. Yeah. There's number two though, and that's definitely the reason why he was screaming. And we are gonna check that next uh, rock out beside him because he broke in half. So who knows, there may be another bit of gold in this. Once again, it'll all be crushed up, it'll all be panned, and it'll all be double-checked. Let's see if we can find another piece. Kapow! Right, well, unfortunately, we've just went through that last one. We did not show you him uh, getting cracked up and broken. We've just went through him too, and unless there's something still hiding in that rock there, and he still needs crushing up, well, we can't see the gold. I can't see it for the life of us. And we've got, we've got six pairs of eyes here. Well, actually, eight. Pa's got two sets of eyes. Helena, sets, Helena's got a set, and I've got my set. Helena's sleeping. So Helena's sleeping, yeah. So, look, we've only got two bits of gold on the board so far. A bit stuck underneath it, Broke me scales, Andrew. Yeah, I'll move your gold. That's, that's where my gold's hiding under there. 
So this is the big guy. This is the last guy. This is the one that was really screaming. Really screaming. So we're going to see what we've got in here. Once again, if we can't find it, we're just going to have to pan it all. Oh, generally, when you crack them open, though, <laughs> we really need a dolly pot, don't we? Generally, when you crack I'll them open, tomorrow. bring one in. Yeah, I'll give my one to you. God, you're kind. But you got to get your own stomper. Own stomper, all yeah, right. Your own stomper thing. All right, let's have a look. What do we got in this Did one? Did you make that dolly pot? Hey. Did you make it? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, he's not in that one. No, screamer. He's not in that one at all. So let's go for the next rock, the last rock. And that was a screamer. So where's he gone? Is he still in there? Or are we gonna we're gonna be panning all our? What did you see? Right there. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Screamer. Real. This one was the police, remember? The police were after us. Yeah, it's a screamer. It looks like a potato. <laughs> Little potato nugget. Yeah, I named him. So here we go. We're missing one gold nugget. Uh, so we do have to pan that little bit of dirt off. But I'm certain somewhere in amongst here, there is one more gold nugget. Plus remember, we've got some in the bottle to weigh up. So let's do that. Let's pan this. We'll show you what comes out of it. And then we're gonna throw it all on the scales, see what we've got for today. Hammer time. All right, we've done it. We've got our last gold nugget. Can you see that guy hiding in there in the pan? Sometimes you just need that water to uncover it and actually see it because he was covered in a lot of sandstony material. Until you get that water on him and shake him around, get him to drop down to the bottom of the pan with the weight. You just can't see him. You don't know they're there. So look, that is just awesome though. And you can really see why the miners were cutting out those banks and taking those big cuts into the gully uh, because that is what they're after they're after the gold uh, mixed in amongst the sandstone there's nothing to say there's not another bit in there too so we will crush all that up and we'll finish it all up properly just in case there's another piece so i will say too we've got some gold in here we need to tip out andrew's got to put his on the scales the last bit of gold that we need to liberate from its host rock is that little guy there. He's easily done. We can see him. Let's take a bit of a crack off. Bingo, we got our gold out. So we had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces for today. Uh, it's not our nine in that we got yesterday. And unfortunately, I did not film. I really wish I had of. Uh, but 19 pieces yesterday. And we ended up with 1.02. I'll throw the picture up top left screen. You'll be able to check it out. It was all found with the Gold Hawk 9-inch Coil Tech Coil. So just a really killer combination. And uh, you've seen that there take place again today. Finding all this gold. Eight bits. And we've got 0 0.48. 0 0.48. Once you settled down there. 0 0.48 on the scales. Oh, no. 0 0.51. There we go. So we cracked a half a gram. It's about $60 worth of gold in that little pan. So Andrew's got to throw his on now. And Andrew, I remember, had the chunker. A little boot of Italy gold, I call it. He's got a little tail on him. Go, yep. yep, back to zero, zero. Oh, look at it. Look at it. Andrew's got 0 0.40, but give it a moment, because that'll go up a little bit, I'm certain. It always takes that few little seconds to go up. Uh, you see there, too, we've got the lead, which I showed before. Uh, Andrew... Point four. We'll have a look in a second. Andrew's also got the old fob watch topper, and uh, look, he's won relic day today. He's yeah, really yeah. taking the cake. Yeah, done extremely well. So point four zero. Yeah. I don't think you're going to squeeze any more out of that one. Push, push a bit on it. So put an ant in the tray. Have a look. There is. I'm going to zoom in for this because this is a. I was talking about him on the way home with Andrew. What a spectacular piece of gold. Look at that. Looks silver from here. Oh, it's just, <laughs> well, if it looks silver, uh, you better better give him away, mate. Yeah, better trade Because you were hunting gold today. Yeah. And you got silver. You got silver. So, silver gold. actually, I think I should keep this piece because that says Al. It's Al for Luke. It's, uh, well, it's Lucky Luke Nugget. Lucky Luke. But I think we might have already got that. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think so. Uh, look, incredible stuff, uh, guys. We've had a great day once again, both on the gold. About a half gram for me and about 0.40 for Andrew. And nearly half a gram once again. So, 
great day, both on it. And nearly, uh, nearly a gram between us. Oh, and he's just lost it. It's, it's in the backyard now. My house has just went up in value. Yeah. Uh, awesome. Anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed. And as I said, we're going to pan off the rest of this. I look forward to seeing you next time and hopefully back on the gold, back out with Andrew. We'll yeah. see you there. We'll be in it. Thank you.